Executive dialogue is important uh, to the center, and creating it uh, is a really helpful thing, we think, uh, to many corporations. And our flagship uh, in this area is our roundtable on digital strategies. It is an executive roundtable series for Global 1000 corporate CIOs and their executive colleagues. It's focused on business issues and the enabling role of information technology. Each roundtable is a moderated dialogue between 15 to 20 executives and a couple of relevant academics. So no presentations, no lectures, no attendees or audience, just a focused, participative, collegial discussion. The, our goal in doing this is to provide a forum for CIOs and their executive counterparts from a select group of non-competitive large corporations to A, be able to share best practices for tackling business issues and the challenges that they jointly face, and B, further the enabling role of information technology in meeting these challenges. The roundtable meets four times a year to discuss a specific business issue that the members have chosen. We have both a U.S. chapter with companies like Bechtel, Chevron, Eaton, IBM, Nike in it, and a European chapter, companies like Nestle, ABB, BMW, Holtzim uh, in it. The roundtable is governed by an executive committee of CIOs who have been members for a while and by the center. CIOs who are members tell me that the top three reasons why they participate in this forum and why it is different from many others is that it is focused on business issue discussion and, of course, the enabling role of technology, but it's not focused on the technology. The second thing is that they get to bring an executive partner, somebody from their company who shares the business issue we're discussing. So, for instance, if you think about talking about supply chain and supply chain management in the global context today, each CIO would bring with him or her the head of global supply chain for the corporation. Or if you think about uh, the customer-focused organization as a topic, then each CIO would bring with him or her someone who's on the front line with customers, an executive who's on the front line with customers and responsible for that part of the business. The third reason why they participate, they tell me, is that there are pairs from non-competitive companies, the same groupings that they have, so a CIO and a head of supply chain, or a CIO and a head of customer focus. And that facilitates best practice sharing in a dynamic and rich way.